Hey guys, Kairi Sif here with a double review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Obake and Parka Full Balls and the Deluxe Magnet Full Ball from Kamen Rider Build. These are three full balls sold across two Uniqlo campaigns that make two best matches when used in the Build Driver. So, let's get started. Starting off, let's take a look at the individual full balls. First up, we have the Obake or Ghost Full Ball. Not to be confused with the actual ghost full ball for Kamen Rider Ghost. This one is a metallic white ball. You can see the sticker with O and M for Obaka and Magnet, which can be twisted all the way around. And actually, in case of this ball, at least the cap is a metallic white. The actual ball by itself is just a unpainted clear color, with the inside part being this kind of interesting green color that kind of gives off the look of ectoplasm and then it depicts a stereotypical ghost. You also got the QR code on the side for Gun Rising and you can check it to hear sound. Next we have the Park of Full Bottle which for any of you guys who know uh, kind of more about this and have, and have watched my Conrad Ghost reviews you know that rather than being actual parka, in Japan parka is what they call hoodies. So this one is metallic origin color with, on the cap. Have O and P for Obake and Parka, which you can twist around. You have the clear orange body which depicts a hoodie. The QR code inside, and the sound. And then the last of them is the Magnet Full Ball. This one is a metallic blue color. You got O and M for Bucket and Magnet. Twist it around. We have the body. It depicts a straight bar magnet with the NS side labels and then you can see these waves of magnetism going all around it. You have the QR code inside and the sound. Next, we'll use these balls to make our two best matches, starting off with Obake and Parka. This creates Conrad build ghost form, which unfortunately is not all that special because it's literally just ghost or Adamashi with the build driver instead of the ghost driver. And it's th the same principle that applies to all of uh, build's other uh, kind of Legend Rider forms, which is unfortunately really lazy because that's the exact same thing they did with Decade, but in that case it made sense since that was his big gimmick. Then we get a close up for the Voltec finish. Next, we'll swap in the Magnet Full Bottle. This creates Kamen Rider Ghost Mag Ghost Form, or rather Kamen Rider Build Mag Ghost Form. And for this I'm going to have to show you a picture of this here on my phone, 
using this image of a card of mag ghost form. You can see the half buys with the eyes. You can see a ghostly wisp for the shoulder for the ghost or rather opaque half buy. Then you can see uh, some uh, things magnetized to the shoulder of the magnet half buy as well as a U magnet on the wrist. Now well, the thing is that this card was actually supposed to come included with the magnet full ball but for some reason the seller I got this from did not include it. Now we'll get another Voltec Fringe close-up. Finally, we'll use the balls from our previous test match, in this case side dryer, to make a couple of example trial forms. So first we'll use these two. This creates trial form Obake Dryer. Then we'll get a close up for the Voltec finish, or rather Voltec attack. Then we'll use the other two. This creates trial form. Psi Magnet. Then we'll get one more close-up for the finisher. And there we go! Overall, this trio of balls is interesting, but also a bit weird and somewhat unfortunate. The thing about these is that the Obake and Parka full balls were part of the first New York Logan campaign that happened round about at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, whereas the Magnet full ball had its campaign start at about the end of last month. So there's a big time difference between them, and for a little while it was uncertain whether or not the Magnet full ball would even actually be released because of that time span, time span and that's why it actually was something that I kind of waited on in order to get those two because it was just Obake and Parker coming out and no Magnet. I really wouldn't have picked them up because I'm not that interested in the Legend Mix bottles. But Magnet is what pushed me over the edge into getting them all. But the unfortunate thing about that is because of that big time gap, we have the Obake bottle that's done up in the old style of football where the ball body is all the same color in this case, no color, just clear, whereas the magnet ball is done up in the new style where most of it is clear except for the design on the ball that's painted in, and it makes a really big disjoint and disconnect, which I'm not fond of, it makes me wish that they had just stuck with the original style bottle for the entire line, and if that was too expensive, they should have made less bottles. That being said, these are two of the main 60 balls that make the 30 best matches, so I did decide to pick them up because of that. Though, with that in mind, overall, if you want to get these, you should definitely kind of do so carefully because these were campaign only items, meaning that finding them on the aftermarket might get a bit pricey, so just be cautious about that. If you want to get them and you can afford it, go for it, 
But if not, this is definitely another one to certainly pass on. Next time, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, and I'm going to be showing you guys the secret functions of the Covenant Build Henshin series. And that will be Tuesday at 6 p.m. PST. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.